Okay, last Friday, I discussed the paper, Hydrostatic Pressure and its Application, right? But most of the students informed to me, the first question is difficult. Then I'm going to explain the question number one again. And this is called liquid barometer. So what is the theory? The pressure exerted on the balloon membrane is equal to the inside pressure, right? Assume this is not sink in water. And this balloon membrane exposed to the atmospheric pressure. Therefore, either side of the U-tube liquid column exists in the same level. Exists in the same level. Right then, when the thistle funnel gradually moves into the liquid, the value of the X is increasing. Therefore, pressure is increased. Right? The question number one. The di diagram shows an apparatus set up to study the factors acting the pressure of the liquid when the thistle funnel is dipped to the depth x in water the difference between the two liquid levels in the u tube is h because this is the change of the liquid level is given as simple h what is the theory inside pressure is equal to the pressure exerted on the balloon membrane in here pressure is equal by the total pressure assume P1 the pressure P1 is equal to the atmospheric pressure to the atmospheric pressure exerted on the and liquid surface plus the pressure exerted by the liquid H rho G right then inside pressure is equal to the pressure exerted on the liquid column at P side of the U tube is also equal to P1 at the same level of the same liquid, liquid pressure is constant. So what is the pressure in here? Also equal to P1. Then question number 1. At the moment shown in the diagram, is the pressure inside the thistle funnel less than, equal to or greater than the atmospheric pressure? Put in here pressure P1 is greater than the atmospheric pressure. So what is the answer for the first one? A is greater greater than the atmospheric pressure greater than the atmospheric pressure then part b state the above observation observation that justifies the above conclusion for the above conclusion Assume the balloon membrane exposed to the atmospheric pressure, only the atmospheric pressure. So what happened? And liquid column in P side and Q side exists in same level. But you can identify P side move down, Q side move up. The reason at the P side, at pressure is greater than the Q side. So P side move down and the Q side liquid level goes up. That is the answer. Then second one. In your answer is P side move down. P side move down. While Q side move up. This is the answer, right? Then second one. Second question. If atmospheric pressure is 5. So I ask to write the pressure in here 5. Atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure given as 5. Write an expression for the pressure of air in the thistle funnel. Density of water is rho and acceleration due to gravity is g. So we have to calculate the pressure on the thistle funnel. Then total pressure I assume P1 is equal atmospheric pressure P0 plus liquid pressure H rho G. Atmospheric pressure is given as 5. So instead of the P0 you have to write 5 plus H mean X rho into G. And this is the and total pressure exerted on the balloon membrane. Next one. Third one, part A. Will the height of the liquid level in U-tube decrease or increase than H? 
if water in the beaker is replaced by the kerosene and the funnel is dipped to the depth x. But instead of the water, now use kerosene oil. Right? So what will happen to the pressure in here? The pressure P1. P1 is equal P0 plus H rho G. Now what are the constant factors? In here constant factors are equal to P0. As well as gravity constant. Depth is constant. Right? Therefore pressure P1 directly proportional to the density of the liquid. Kerosene oil. What is the density of the kerosene oil? 790 kilograms per cubic meter. Density of water 1000 kilograms per cubic meter. Then density reduce what happened? Pressure is decreasing. So consider about the pressure in here. Earlier pressure assume and 2000. Now pressure is less than 2000. Therefore P1 reduced than the earlier. So how can we get the answer right? In here answer, pressure P1 is equal H rho G. In here pressure assume equal to H rho G. Right? Then gravity constant. Right? The pressure is now decreased than the earlier. And therefore, and depth. And this H is less than the earlier. Right? Then what is the answer? Answer is H will be less than the earlier. Answer 4, question number 3, part A, the H will be less than the earlier, right? H will be less than the earlier, the reason gravity constant, same liquid, that means density of the water is constant, but P1 now less than the earlier, coming to P1, so what happened, when pressure reduce, right, and H also will reduce, right, then answer, H will be reduced than the earlier. Next one. B. What physical property of kerosene causes that change? Density. So what is the only factor is caused to that? What is that factor? Density of the kerosene oil. Question number 4. If the coconut oil is used instead of water in YouTube, what could happen to the difference between the liquid level P and Q. Right? Liquid level P and Q. And then instead of the water in here, use coconut oil. Coconut oil. And container consisted with, beaker consisted with water. Right? How can we decide? Pressure P1. Pressure P1 is not changing H rho G. P1, right, constant, right, then here available coconut oil, in here available now coconut oil, right, so gravity constant, when density reduce, you can identify and this height is increasing, therefore value of the H will increase, therefore value of the H is increasing. So what is it? Next one. If the coconut oil is used instead of water in YouTube, what could happen to the difference between the liquid level P and Q and this value H? It will be greater than the H. Assume H is in here equal to 5 cm. Now it will be greater than the 5 cm. Right? One of the example now value of the H will be right 7 cm. Right, next one. What factors affecting liquid pressure can be studied using the above apparatus? In here, and we can identify the end of the thistle funnel, X. It doesn't change, right? It never change, only change the, the liquid inside of the beaker as well as the YouTube. Therefore, density change. So, according to this experiment, now we can decide variation of the liquid pressure according to its density, right? That's it.